Well, what you're looking at here are three extinct species of hominid, potential human ancestors, from left to right, Homo erectus, Homo habilis, and Paranthropus boisei, a robust Australopithecine, all uncovered from the same location in northern Kenya, and all dating to roughly the same time, about two million years ago. So we've got three extinct species living in the same place at the same time, potential ancestors. Which one of these guys could I actually be descended from? I don't know. Possibilities about ancestry and origins, but not the probabilities we're really looking for. Could I, for instance, be related to this individual, the so-called Tong baby, very first Australopithecine ever discovered by Raymond Dart in southern Africa in the 1920s? Or what about this individual? Am I related to him? I'm covered from the pre-pottery Neolithic layer at Jericho in the Middle East, dating to around 10,000 years ago. And what about this guy? <laughs> no comment on that one. <laughs> So in the last 2,000 generations, we have scattered to the wind to populate the entire planet in the process of generating the patterns of diversity that we see today. The evidence is that there was a very early coastal migration, leaving Africa, moving up through the Arabian Peninsula, down through the southern coast of Asia, Southeast Asia, reaching Australia by around 50,000 years ago. A slightly later inland migration, moving up across the Sinai Peninsula into the Middle East, People living on the grasslands that existed there at that time. Some groups staying in the Middle East, others heading eastward into Central Asia, again, following these grasslands. A group turning westward into Europe around 35,000 years ago. This is all during the last Ice Age. Encountering the Neanderthals that lived there at that time and driving them to extinction. And then a small group headed to the north and east into the worst part of the last Ice Age. And between 15 and 20,000 years, years ago, at the time of the last glacial maximum, when sea levels were over 100 meters lower than today, crossing the Bering Land Bridge from the Old World into the New and populating the Americas. The great Paleolithic wanderings of our species, how we populated the planet. So, have you seen your results yet? Yeah, I did. Yeah? So, I will show them to everybody else. What did you think? I thought it was pretty interesting. I, I was surprised that we sort of um, migrated or whatever through uh, Iran or India. Mm -hmm. Rather than Europe, I thought. Uh, my well, you ended up in Europe. So the idea is you start off in Africa just like everybody else. And your ancestors left Africa in that second migratory wave 45 to 50,000 years ago, going out in the Middle East. And they kind of hung around there for a while, but headed off to the east over to southern Central Asia um, about 40,000 years ago, picking up additional genetic markers along the way that allow us to trace this journey. And then they were part of that first group of Cro Magnon people early modern humans to enter Europe around 35,000 years ago. And this is all during the last ice age, and they encountered the Neanderthals there, and drove them to extinction, and ultimately <laughs> won out. <laughs> Surprise me. <laughs> Look up that now. And they ended up down here in southwestern Europe in what we call a refugium. So the last glacial maximum, all the glaciers covering northern Europe, everybody was forced out of the south. I actually belong to this group too, so you're my cousin. My wife, my cousin. <laughs> we ended up down in Spain and then repopulated northwestern Europe after the end of the last ice age. So it's very typically Western European. 70% um, of English men, 90, 95% of Irish men are carrying this particular genetic lineage. So does that roughly agree with what you know yeah. about your, your dad's side of the family? Right. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of Irish on my side. Okay. Yeah, so very typically Irish. So, what do you think about, you know, this amazing trip they must have gone on? I mean, think of the hardships. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's, it's fascinating just to, to sort of comprehend where they, where they were and what they went through. And I guess they were the first ones to start uh, adapting to winter life. Yeah, yeah, up in the high latitudes. And, you know, when they made it into Europe, of course, as I said, they met these guys. <laughs> so, what is my brother Smith? <laughs> What, what I have to ask you is, do you think you could take him to the ring? I'd rather not. <laughs> Damn retired, man. Looks like a few guys that I've faced over my career. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much for getting your DNA tested.